I'm a visitor. I don't live here. I live in Colorado. Um, I'm really grateful, though, to be able to stand up and bear my testimony today because I have great confidence and love for the Savior. Um, Edmund Burke said that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. The First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles are covering a sexual predator that lives in your ward. His name is Joseph Bishop. He was the MTC president in 1984 when he raped me in the basement of the MTC. If you're not aware of this, thank you. Yeah, I'll be done in just a minute. I, I will. Thank you. I'd love to talk to you afterwards. Okay. Can I talk to you afterwards? Absolutely. I'd love to talk to you afterwards. Okay, please. However, it is, it, for the atonement to take place, we have to be accountable for what we do. We don't get to... I'm, I'm, I'm thank you. To you okay. I, yeah, but you know what? You're in my personal space. Okay. Excuse me. No. No, I have more to say. My and name is McKenna Jensen. Okay. I approve you're this message. To share with me. I will. I will share with you. However, like share with you it is okay. really important. Oh, um, it is really important that you understand. In order to keep our ward safe, in order to keep our church safe, do not call the police. Don't touch me. You're you're assaulting me. In order to keep the church safe, we need to hold sexual predators accountable, whether they are. Whether they are pedophiles okay. or whether they are rapists like this Joseph Bishop. For you, to share this. Okay. Come on. you know, this is assault, right? And you know no, that we're filming this, right? This is not assault. have to understand too from my point of view, from my, you guys can just record me. Hey, I got it. From my point of view, your dad raped me at the MTC. Yeah, right. So, well, listen to the audio. You'll hear it. <laughs> he said he can imagine himself doing that. the room in the basement? I do. Do you remember tearing my blouse, pulling up my skirt, ripping the back of my skirt? Did anybody from Salt Lake ever tell you that you were accused of sexual assault? No. You were never disfellowshipped, had a counsel? I, I felt I had repented. I Did confessed to Robert Wells. McKenna Denson filed a lawsuit against the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and also the former president of the MTC. The story is about the rape in the MTC by a high-level Mormon official, which was the MTC president. The rape and then the cover-up. The church knew that he was a sexual predator and they put him in the flagship missionary training center, which became a playground for him to just pick and choose sisters. It seems that the LDS Church is using the Catholic Church playbook in dealing with sexual abuse. Hundreds marched to LDS Church headquarters. Yeah, their message, stop allowing LDS bishops to have one-on-one -on -one interviews with youth. One-on-one -on -one interviews with children is dangerous and damaging. It grooms our kids for sexual predators. I consider myself an active, believing member of the church. Yet an untrained man can ask a child sexual explicit questions behind closed doors. There is no other Christian denomination in the entire world that has a similar practice. By no means are most leaders pedophiles or predators, and yet we do not run background checks on leaders. It set me up to think that it's okay to be behind closed doors with a leader. I'm calling my fellow members to step up and not just protect our children, protect the good name of the church. I just don't understand why they think that's okay, but oh hell no, are they gonna get away with that? Not now, not ever again. So when you talked to Brother Wells and you repented, did you talk about what you did with me and other women? Yes. How many other women are there? 